Hi everybody, Physics Ninja here. Today I have two problems that look at calculating the center of mass when I've got masses spread out on the XY plane. In this first problem, I've got five uh, masses over here, uh, various values located in different positions. And what I wanna do is I wanna apply my equations to find the coordinate of the center of mass of this system. Uh, after we'll take a little bit more complicated problem. Again, five masses kind of spread out uh, in the XY plane and applying our equations again to make sure we can calculate where that position is of the center of mass of a more complicated system. And so to get started here, what we're gonna do is just apply our equation and we're gonna start by calculating the coordinate of the X center of mass. Now the equation, it's good to write it down a couple times. It'll help you just remember it. You have to do this product here of each mass with its coordinate. And at the end, you have to divide by the total mass and for that, you simply add them all up. All right, so let's work on the numerator first. So the X center of mass, again, you simply have to sum over all of these products over here, and that's the mass. So we're gonna have five different terms over here multiplied by its X coordinate. So the first one here is M1. This has a value of three kilograms, and its X coordinate is zero. Uh, the second one is M2, it's four kilograms. Its X coordinate is also zero, right? Uh, what about the next one? M3 is three kilograms, and its X coordinate here, if this is one and this is two, uh, this here would be two. Plus two kilograms is the mass, and its X coordinate here is four units. And plus the last one, five kilograms uh, multiplied by four units. All right, at the end, we need to simply sum up all the masses. So here we have three plus four uh, plus three plus two and plus five. All right, we can simplify some of these terms here. Don't include any of those contributions. Uh, what you end up getting here is six plus eight and plus 20. And all of that divided by, uh, this looks like 17, if I do it correctly. Uh, this is an easy one, 34 over 17, which gives me two units. That's the X coordinate for our center of mass. Uh, for the Y center of mass, the formula looks really, really similar, except we swap out all of the X coordinates with Y coordinates. However, the denominator is still the total mass, so it's still going to be 17 for the Y coordinate. All right, again, we're simply going to apply our equation here. Let's go ahead and just include all the terms, and again, all of that gets divided by 17. So what does it look like now when you substitute all our values in here? So we get 3... Uh, multiplied by zero, right? This one here is right at the origin, therefore there is no Y coordinate. Plus, the next one is four kilograms. Now where is that one located? Well, it's located one, two, three units. That's its Y coordinate. Plus the three kilogram, uh, that one is located at two units in the Y direction. And plus two kilograms, that one is where Y equals to zero. <laughs> and plus, our last one is five kilograms, and that one's located one, two, three as well. All right, so you simply have to go through, and again, I'll just cross out the terms that give me zero. Don't want to include those by accident. And what you're left with here is 12 plus six plus 15. All of that over 17. If I do the math correctly, that's 18 plus 13. Uh, 33 over 17. I need to put that one in the calculator if I want a decimal. It's something a little bit smaller than two, right? I get 1.94 if I put that in the uh, calculator. So at the end, if you were asked to go back on your figure and point out where that coordinate is, well, it would have two as its X coordinate. So it would be right on this dashed line over here. And it would be just slightly below. This here would be the position or the coordinate of the center of mass of this system of point masses. All right, there you go, folks. That's a very simple example. All right, let's do example two now. All right, so in this case here, we have our five masses again. I've distributed them now uh, differently from the first case. Uh, so let's see how we would uh, calculate the coordinate of the center of mass. So again, we're going to start with the x value. Uh, again, it's the same equation as before, right? The only thing that's going to change now are going to be these values here of xi and yi. Right, all the mass terms should all be the same. Uh, the total mass, this guy we've already calculated, it's 17. So that's an easy one that we can just already put here in the denominator. And now what we're left with is simply evaluating this summation again. 
So let's go ahead and do that. So we get three is the first one. That's at uh, x position zero. Plus, uh, the mass m2 is up here. That has a mass of four. And what is its x coordinate? Well, again, I'm choosing this to be my origin. So this is negative one, this is negative two. So that means over here I have to put negative two uh, in the bracket term. Uh, the next guy is three. And that one here is going to be located at x position minus three plus uh, two kilograms here. This two kilograms is at uh, x position one. And the last one is the heaviest object. Uh, that's five kilograms and that's located at position three. All right, let's go ahead and kind of simplify this a little bit. Don't have to worry about this first term. What I'm left with now is minus eight, uh, minus nine, plus two, and plus 15. All of that over 17. Actually, if you see, this is negative 17 and this is positive 17, which means we get zero for the x coordinate of the center of mass, which means it's gonna be somewhere over here. So let's go ahead now and evaluate what the y coordinate is. Same thing as before. Um, I have to divide by the total mass again. That's 17 for this particular problem. And now what we do is simply add up all of those terms again. Uh, some of these are simple. Uh, three kilogram is at position zero. Uh, four kilograms is at position, well this is one, two, three units. So that's three plus three kilograms, that's at y position two, right, right over here, that's at two. What else? Um, uh, the two kilogram, that is at position four. And plus our five kilograms now is at y position two, right? Here is the center of that one and right here. So again, we just evaluate what the numerator term is. Uh, the numerator term, we're gonna get 12 plus six plus eight and plus 10. And all of this, uh, did I do that right? 12 plus six plus eight, yeah, and plus 10. Uh, so at the end, we simply have to sum all of those up and we have to divide by 17. So what do we get? We get 18 plus 18, that's 36 over 17. So it looks like in this case, it's a little bit bigger than two. Uh, if you wanna just write that as a decimal place, it's a little bit bigger than 2.1, but close enough for me. So that means if I go on this figure and I wanna plot where that position of the center of mass is, it would probably be right around here. This is where I would denote the X center of mass and the Y center of mass coordinate.